Welcome to the Weekly Homicide Report, the weekly program where we talk about all the people that needlessly died at the hands of another person. So let's take a look at this week's graph. Chicago had 12 homicides this week, their lowest weekly total in nearly two months. Fortunately, the four mass shootings they had this week only resulted in one death, but we'll get to that a little later. Philadelphia had nine murders, marking two weeks in a row with only single-digit homicides. Good for them, but they still sit at five more than they were last year during their record-breaking 21 year. Baltimore recorded five murders this week. They, along with both Chicago and Philly, had a mass shooting. Washington, D.C. did as well, but we'll get to them in a minute. Milwaukee had four murders, which marks their fourth week in a row with four or less. They're doing pretty good but still 38 more than last year at this time. D.C. had four homicides, still seven above where they were in 2021. There were 13 mass shootings this week, which has been the norm for the last three weeks, so not much to say about that other than four of the 13 were in Chicago alone. 31% of last week's mass shootings were in Chicago. Washington, D.C. had one, Philly had one, and I covered a few of them. You may want to check them out, especially the Chicago number 432 one. I go into some detail on the mass shootings in Chicago in that one. And yes, when I said 432, that's the number of mass shootings we've had this year, 432. By the end of the year, at our current pace, we'll be around 665, which would be considered good since we had 691 last year. Three children under the age of 11 were killed by gunfire. I covered the Lila Johnson one in one of my senseless murder videos. Her father shot her, then himself, when the police came to take her to bring her back to her mother. 28 kids between the age of 12 and 17 were killed by gunfire. In total, 880 children in this age range have died from gunshot wounds this year. That's nearly four a day. There were 24 defensive use of a firearm incidents reported. I covered the Milwaukee woman who shot an intruder in her home one. That lady sounded like she's had multiple incidents in her life that she needed a gun. I also started a podcast and posted two videos on YouTube this week of those, one on a ban of white people at a UC Berkeley housing unit and another on the lack of police in New Orleans and the possibility of Mardi Gras being canceled next year as a result of that. So if you're interested in either of those topics, check those out. On to the murder-suicides. Now these are just the ones done with a gun. So far in week 34, we're at 451 for the year, and that's an increase of 13 from last week. We're currently averaging nearly two a day, and the overall average for 2021 was closer to one and a half per day. There have also been well over 15,000 suicides committed with a gun this year about 2,500 more suicides than homicides. Well, that's all I have for you today, but I'll be back next week with the Week 35 numbers. Until then, have a great week, and I'll catch you next week. Support this channel and pick yourself up some original crime-related apparel. Look for the link in the description.